it is finally no longer an ungodly hour like when Thor and I got up this morning to hit the road at four in the morning. Uh, it is now almost nine. So we've been on the road for about five hours now, headed down to Siege, Southeast Game Exchange. It is our first time at this con. I am very excited. It's gonna be awesome, but we still have, oh, that's gross. We still have six hours and 41 minutes left in our drive. This is, this is a long one. Not flying, driving. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll get a little road footage, or if we see anything interesting between this state and the next four that we're going through, yes. three. So we started in Michigan, and then we were in Indiana for a little bit. Now we're in Ohio. Uh, next up, I believe, is Kansas. No, Kentucky. Kentucky, not Kansas. Next up is Kentucky, and then we have Tennessee, then North Carolina, then South Carolina. So. Um, it's a long trip, folks, but uh, I hear it's going to be worth it, and it's going to be awesome. So hopefully I see you at Southeast Game Exchange. By the time this video is out, it'll be too late to have seen me, I think. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. Yeah, this is a long drive. I'm tired. Well, another state done. Ohio is now behind us. Um, oh, but that sign says Cincinnati is in the left lane. Huh. Hi. Next up, because uh, we just crossed into Kentucky. This is my first time ever being in this state. I hear y'all maybe have some good fried chicken. I don't know. Is that a bad joke? Probably. Um, but we're passing through, I believe it's Lexington on the way, is we're passing through Lexington, Kentucky. And then after that, we'll be in Tennessee. I don't know what major city we're passing through there. But yeah, we're, uh, we're officially in um, Kentucky now. It looks like every other state. Cool. Well, not quite to South Carolina yet, but uh, we're here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee at uh, this place right here, Everything Auto. I uh, don't know if you guys watch that channel or not. Totally different from my kind of content normally, but I really enjoy the channel. Uh, it's uh, Everything Auto on YouTube. It's a uh, like tow truck auto service channel and really wholesome channel. The guy, Jeff, super nice. I was able to talk to him on the phone. Might get a chance to meet up, might not. Just depends on you know how busy they are, but I wanted to just stop because it was perfectly on our way and just thought it was kind of cool that it could stop in a location uh, of videos that I watch on the regular. So yeah, Everything Auto here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and maybe we'll get to meet up, maybe we won't. Otherwise, uh, you guys will see us when we get to South Carolina in a few hours. Well, got to meet them. Uh, it was a, a short-lived meeting for sure, because as soon as they got back to their lot right there, they immediately had to go to take care of another call. But very nice in person, was a pleasure uh, to meet them. And yeah, now we are back on the road, finishing the last leg of our drive down to South Carolina. So Greenville, here we come. It took 13 hours to get here. Thor and I are tired. Are you tired, Thor? Yeah. Thor's tired. We're uh, probably gonna go do the preview night thing for Siege tonight. And then, well, that's where food is. He says there's food elsewhere. So we'll see, but uh, yeah, that was a long drive, but tomorrow starts con day. So it's gonna be awesome. I've never been to Siege. Thor has never been to Siege. It's gonna be great. We will see you all there. We are going to Pinky's. Pinky's what? What's this place called? Pinky's Revenge. Pinky's Revenge, because we're gonna uh, eat, I'm assuming, bar food and then uh, we're gonna play some games and we're gonna hang out with some people. Right, Jake? Yeah. Oh, Jay's here now too. Hi, I'm here. All right, so we're getting ready to leave the sauna. I mean, Pinky's Revenge. I think the revenge is if there's no AC. It was really hot in there. Um, yeah, it, yeah, and it wasn't just us that made it hot in there. It was just the temperature. Uh, but we're gonna go get ice cream. That's us. That's those guys. That's a Bitty Kong right there. He's like famous in Hollywood. I'm just saying. And then a Thor. Hey, hey, it's Thor. So we're gonna get ice cream now, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. We're here. It's not officially open yet. There's other people behind me. But we're gonna go inside now. This place is huge. Holy crap. This place is big. This is gonna be awesome. Hey, uh, John, what you got there? My baby. Oh! My 
coffee, Chris. You have a beautiful baby. It's so funny. I, I'm not even the biggest fan of coffee, but probably the best candy bar that ever exists in the history of time. That is facts. I don't know what you're doing there. I was just giving a thumbs up. Do another thumbs up. <gasps> you can insert it right there. Oh my. So Riggs has all kinds of goodies. Well, Look at all the homebrews. And I'm trying to like, I ran out of room for the hats. I might have to just wear all the hats. You'll have to wear all the hats. All the ones, yeah. I mean, those hats look pretty awesome. Somebody really beautiful they must have made them. It, it, is, it is a pretty smart fit in hat there. S tier, that's me. That's right, baby. Everyone's in Yay, everyone's in S tier. Well, then, who's in F tier? This asshole over <laughs> Who? All right, uh, let's go walk around and see what we can find, shall we? It has not opened up for regular consumption of folks yet, but it's open for VIP, so let's go take a look. This place is massive. Jeez. Look at this. There's so much. Okay, got your Pokemon cards. Nice, nice. Lots of cards. Ooh, some games. Love to see people take care with how they display their stuff. Awesome. Very nice. What do we got over here? Ooh, Wii U. Mm, nope, doesn't have the one that I need. I only need that one more game. Wow, we got lots of box stuff. Nice. How's it going, fellas? I am doing well. Question for you. Do you have Book of Unwritten Tales 2 on Wii U? Oh, no way. Like, really? It's the last game I need for the full set. It would be over here. Oh my gosh, I hope so. He just got my hopes up. Darn them. Let's see if we can find it. Nothing there. Let's look at the second row. Darn. They got my hopes up, but they didn't have it at that one. Apparently, they got cleaned out at too many games. Darn them. Okay, let's see. What do these places have? Ooh, some N64. I'm still missing some stuff there. Ooh, more Wii U. Let's see. What do we got here? Anything. That, wow. If you need Smash Bros. Wii U, they have got a couple. Same with Mario 3D World. Ooh, it's in a glass case of emotion. Ah, I'm in a glass case of emotion! It might be in here, let's see. Uh, no, Turbo Stunt Squad. Have it, but don't see it that often. Nice, okay, let's see. What do they got in 64? Ooh, a Super Bowling. Ah, it's a little rich for my blood, though. What else we got in here? They got some good stuff, but nothing I need. These are amazing 3D prints, super detailed. Like even this, it looks flat, it's not. Like it has the actual texture to it. That's amazing. They have tons of different ones. Oh, and apparently I guess they're kind of cool because they run the Long Island Retro Gaming Expo. That's right, that's right. Very awesome. Okay, I see that infamous blue spine. Hmm. I don't see it. Uh. DuckTales Remastered and Shovel Knight, though. Fantastic. Mmm, N64 games. That's the only problem with being that close to a complete set, though. You very rarely find new stuff. I mean, don't act excited. Don't act excited. I mean, I guess, you know, that game is okay. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing special. It's, it's an okay game. Play it down, play it cool. Oh, that game sucks. That game sucks. That Nobody likes sucks. that game. And it's complete. And it looks really clean, too. <gasps> Jay, do you know what this is? I think that's the last game I need for Wii U collection. This is the last game I need to complete the Wii U collection. <gasps> and he said I could have it for free and everything. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> I, was, I was standing here. That is not true. That, uh, shh. He's supposed to have my back. He doesn't have my back. Okay. Well, he told you you could have the Shantae Pirates Collector's Edition. I just bought that. Oh. You did? You did? Not here. Uh, I was like, oh, you bought it from Limited Run. Oh, okay. Yeah. They didn't, uh, they don't get the aftermarket. Okay. I am going to get this game. I didn't think I would find it. I've been looking for years. And after, what has it been, five years? Yeah. I have now completed the Wii U set. What's your name, good fella? Uh, 
Jordan? Yep. Hi, Jordan. And other guy? Cameron. That's my son's name. Yeah, he's a little shorter than you because he's three. But thank you, Jordan and Cameron. You helped me complete my Wii U set up top. You get Nux. Nice. Now there is something you rarely see. The big box earthbound. And apparently all the lights look like the pause symbol here when they reflect. Does it actually have the guide in it too? Holy crap. So how many mortgage payments is it? Two grand. Hot damn. So depending on the state you live in, only a partial mortgage payment, okay. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, you might like perler beads just a little. Uh, yeah, been doing about 15 years now. Woo! And that's how long it took to make everything on this table was 15 yeah. years. Holy crap, dude, some of these are huge. I like the Gengar Power Ranger. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, let's see. What Wii U games don't I have? Oh, it doesn't matter, because I have them all now. This guy had it too. So for years, I haven't seen this in person. I bought this one. This guy had it sealed. I could have offended a lot of people and bought one where it broke the seal, but I saved money. Yeah. And I don't need any more Wii U games now. So I'm just gonna say variants don't exist for Wii U, but if they did, this would be a really cool variant. I had no idea there was a big box of Xenoblade Chronicles X. Jay, look at that. But variants for this. All right, so I'm gonna have to buy something because uh, a super famous YouTuber. Hi, Mort. Hi, he has a beautiful garage. Uh, he said this game I should definitely get because it's one of the hardest to find games and that it's reasonably priced. I know nothing, I'm going on blind faith. Yeah, it's, it's an okay game at best. It is an okay game but at if, best. If you're collecting, it's hard to find. This is a great game. Okay. That's a, that's, you know, but you're gonna you buy one get one half off. <gasps> That's right. Table. I would just say that uh, this is made by people who made Time Splitters. Oh, okay. And Goldeneye and all that. And it's a so, single player narrative adventure. There's no multiplayer. Oh, that's even better. I like it's that. Great. It's a great story. It's well done. Well, I guess I'm going to get two games that I don't have then. I just sold two games for you. He gets a commission. <laughs> he said he wants that free. No. <laughs> yes, sir. I just get you behind the counter. I thought now we're walking over. Oh, my God. I see another famous YouTuber. Oh, hi, Andy. What's up, gentlemen? Uh, Yay. Welcome to you guys are like, whoa. You know what this reminds me of? You know, like the, the I saw that movie. Cameras? Like, oh, I know. <laughs> like the 3D cameras work too. Oh, yeah. So Here, let's go stereoscopic. Can you guys take your footage together? <laughs> That's awesome. Complete in box. Minish cap on GBA right there. Import. That's sick. Nice. Then of course the most expensive GameCube game. Hey, it went down in price a little though. Nice. Oh, it's missing things. So quadruple that price and then you're almost there. Oh, it's got, I don't know, I had a special memory card with it. Always awesome to see people that you haven't seen in a long time. Love that dude, Andy Pac-Man Case. He is at the Video Game Cavern. Let's see, what else we got? Ooh, all kinds of goodies back there, nice. What's a DK2? What is that? What is a DK2? Oh, the Dev Kit 2 for the Oculus, okay. Yep. I see you, nice. What's the price on that? 50. That's pretty cool, and everything's in it? So yeah. I got a travel adapter bag popped in there. Nice. Um, yeah, because it's the Rift dev kit, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the Rift. Nice. So, yeah, it came with... Oh, all the European stuff. Every other countries. Yeah, have ours, except so for the U.S. So I popped a travel adapter in there to take care of that end of it. I'm going to keep that in mind. That's super cool. I love the weird stuff. The stuff you don't often see, like a complete in box import uh, Dreamcast right there, that's cool. Uh, that's the, uh, that's the, uh, 
Oh, arcade pad. Okay, I was like, how'd they fit it all in there? Still, that's awesome. A recapped Nomad, nice. Does it have a new screen on it too? Nice, new LCD screen, love it. What the heck is that? Is that a multi-tap for the Panasonic, for the 3DO? An adapter to use Genesis or Super Nintendo controllers for the 3DO. That is freaking awesome. That I have never seen before. Whoa, complete in box micro and complete in box turbo. Nice. You got lots of weird stuff. I like it. Hey, used to have one of these. Nice. What do we got? Oh, hella consoles. Ooh, I like the way they box everything. That's awesome. Very clean. It tells you everything that's in it. Very nice. Okay, here's another thing I have never seen in person. But first, Pac-Man cocktail table. Heck yes. Dang, that is clean. That has definitely been recapped. Look at this though. NES TV. That is so cool. I wonder if Gamer Amer knows this is here. I'm gonna have to let her know. That is freaking awesome. You never see an NES TV. Ooh, got some box of goodies over here. Let's see. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Hogwarts Legacy, big box edition. Very nice. What else we got here? Ooh, the Allwell collection. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Let's see. What all comes in this? That is a heavy box. Holy cow. So it comes with Legacy and Awakening and a bunch of extra goodies. Ooh. You know... I may need to pick this up. This is really cool. All right, picked up the Alwa's collection. Very cool. The Alwa games are awesome. So very affordable price too. Very nice. Oh my God. That's freaking cool. 20th anniversary collector's bus from Diablo 2. Woo, too rich for my blood, but that is awesome. All right, so I may grab some more footage in a little while, but I've seen about half of this show, got a lot of footage already. This place is crazy big and they have a ton of stuff. I've gotten a nice little baggie of stuff already and yeah, I'm gonna go explore more. This for you. So Rob said he has something for it. What is this? That is beautiful. And it's got the uh, Funny Play IPS, so you can pick your uh, brightness by pressing one, or color by pressing once, and then uh, up on the dial. Hell yeah. And then if you want to do the brightness, you just press down, and it goes down to dark, or up to nice. Go down bright. I've never done a Funny Playing mod before. That's so beautiful. I threw in Tetris, but I also threw in, because you just talked about Mega Man 3, and I was like, but do you have the Game Boy version? So I don't have the Game Boy version. Have, and now you have that to go with Tetris. So. I have Tetris and Mega Man on Game Boy. Yes, well, <laughs> it was a cool con while it lasted. <laughs> now I'm going to be busy doing something else. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yeah, man. We are here. It is day two of Siege. There's still a lot of people here, still a lot of stuff here. And I'm tired from yesterday. Thor, are you tired from yesterday? Yes, very tired. There was lots of walking. My old man knees and my old man ankles and feet and back and everything is tired. But uh, it was a really cool day yesterday. Got a lot of cool stuff. I'll probably do a recap at the end of this video of everything I picked up. Uh, got to meet some cool people. Got to meet Nolan North, the voice of like Nathan Drake and all kinds of other stuff, Deadpool. But what a nice guy. Like genuinely just a super nice down to earth guy. Super cool to be around. So uh, Nolan, if you're watching this, nice to meet you, man. It was awesome. And thanks for hanging out with us. All right. Well. The day is winding down. We're calling it. Thor, did you have a good time at Siege 2024? Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. What about you, Mr. Square Pegs? Had a great time. Awesome yeah. show. And you're full of life and not tired in any way? I am wide awake. It's going to be a fantastic, easy, safe drive back to North Carolina. Yeah. And then a, definitely not a short or long or whatever drive back. To, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. It, it's going to be a 13-hour day again tomorrow to get back home. But Siege has been awesome. Hope you all enjoy uh, the footage. As always, I'm Game Dad, and I'll catch you all later.